Hello, here we are back in Outlook, and I wanted to discuss a few things that um, I didn't haven't really brought up throughout the class because I didn't want it to confuse people. But um, if you look, I, I mean, I've mentioned before I have several Office 365 accounts, and there's a reason why I choose to to pay for these because they're they have a lot of extra pluses. Uh, these two are both Office 365, and they are actually paid email accounts. And that's because I can run them through Outlook, and I can also access them from multiple locations. And that's really what I want to show you, how it works. So the thing is, is let me just first go into the lab email account. So that, and, and you'll see also, okay, now the only one that isn't an Office 365 account is the Gmail account. And many of you already have Gmail. It's free. And you can run it through Outlook like I do. Uh, you have to uh, do some tricky configuration. Let me come here and show you what I mean um, as far as tricky configuration. <laughs> On my Gmail account settings, uh, let's look at these account settings. Okay, this, these are, this is what we call an IMAP account, and that means it maps itself with the server um, in the in the particular location. And with Gmail, Gmail, what you have to do is you have to log into your Gmail account um, through your web browser, and then you activate the IMAP feature. Okay, so um, I guess I could demonstrate that as well. So so I'm going to pause this for a second so I can get my uh, account open on the screen and show you what I mean. Okay, so this is my Gmail account. If I want to get into my mail, I just click here, and I'm in my Gmail account, which many of you, uh, let's see, I'm going to go, no, I'm not interested with this, but <clears throat> that many of you are very familiar with, and um, you've seen it, uh, you can choose different backgrounds, all of this type of thing. Now, they also have different ways to work with these accounts. Now, what the difference here is in settings, I went to um, forwarding and pop IMAP. And this is where I enabled the IMAP feature right here. Okay, I've had it as pop before, but I like it better as IMAP. So, <clears throat> I mean, Gmail is better, it works a little bit better with IMAP anyway. So pop means that it pulls all the information off of the um, email server. And IMAP, what it does is it's, it maps itself to the email server. So if I was to look at my accounts, now I can close this out here. Um, let me get back um, to my, just to my inbox should take me there. Yeah. Okay. Now you see all these folders that I have inside my account. I have an, an inbox um, that shows me the folders here. Then I have different, like my personal, uh, my school. And at one time I, I kept these all up, but I don't need to anymore. And I'll show you why. Okay. So now I'm back here at my IMAP account of Gmail. And you'll look. Okay, so here's my Gmail folders. These are the same folders that you were looking at. See, so the ones that I had coming into this account originally are the same ones that, that are on my other account, and they're mapped. So when I come up here to my Gmail mail, and I use my Gmail as a junk account. I have all the different uh, whoever is uh, sending me uh, some kind of an ad. I, it goes to this account. So let's say I want to delete this one. When I delete it here in my Outlook, it's mapped to the other account, so it will no longer be open in Gmail. It will no longer be here in Gmail either. So it, it's just that it, it, it will automatically go through and it will uh, um, update itself as it happens. So it's real life and it's nice. Okay, now I'm going to close out the Gmail account and let's talk Office 365. Now, one thing that a lot of you are aware of is that when you go into your Questa, um, and it's if I if ever I want to get into Office 365 account, I go to portal.office.com, okay, and it takes me to something like this. And you see, I have multiple accounts that I'm working with. So let me just go with my lab email account, and I'm going to show you what happens. If I put in my lab email um, email address, lab 
email 01 at, and I am, I always forget the extension, so I'm going to have to look at it again. Let me get it over on my, oh, that doesn't do you any good. Um, let's see. Let me get my outlook over on my other screen so I can look at the ex extension. <laughs> Darn it, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> Come back and put you on pause for a second here. Where are you? Okay, so there we are. Lab email 01, then it's Outlook. Dot instruction. Dot Questa. Dot org. Okay, now what happens because it it has to do with the uh, uh, Questa.org. When I click on Next, it's going to pop over to a view of Questa College in the background. So here goes. There it is. See, there's the Questa College one. And that's only because it's going through that exchange component that, that uh, Office 365 is using. So now I have to just put in my password and sign in. And this is the same mail account that I've been getting all the time through that we set up using Microsoft Outlook. Now, why didn't I have you use this mail account? Um, there's a specific reason why I didn't have you use that one. It's, you were actually using that one all the time, but even when I did my RRS feeds and, and, and those kinds of things, I didn't have you use this one because it doesn't, it's limited. It doesn't have as much. Um, as many features as the one that we're learning. So you were learning the Outlook program that resides on your computer, but you still could have done some of the mail through this location, so it doesn't hurt to try it. See, notice that there's a lot of similarities. You have like your people, which are the contacts that you have, uh, your contacts, and that would be, in this case, it was all the contacts in the class, and then I had my calendar, and these were any um, calendar dates and or whatever that you sent me to, and I I approved for this particular uh, um, for th this particular project or these partic particular items. I even have tasks in here. Uh, I don't believe there's any tasks. Oh yeah, here you go. These are all tasks that were sent. Okay, so the ta everything is is available here. I, I don't shouldn't say everything with limits because this is the online interface and it's not the full running program. That's the reason why we did, haven't used it throughout the class, but it is available. Now, when you uh, you also have this same interface available through your Questa email account. So when you come into your Questa homepage and you go into your can uh, not Canvas, I'm sorry, uh, the My Questa account, and you log in and um, uh, I don't know if this is going to go. The, their servers have been down today. But when you go to your, your student tab, you see that there's an email option in there. That email option will take you to something similar to that portal that I was just in. Now let me look at my, my uh, private email account. Again, it's the same portal, portal.office.com. And this is now it's bringing up the Lab Email 1 account that I had put in there. But... Um, then I also want to go into uh, sign out, and now I'm going to go and sign in under one of my other email accounts. And um, let's come here, and I'll go under Marilyn. password now the thing that's really great about this is Outlook also has apps for your phone for your iPad and all of those types of things and see these apps uh, this one's coming from my web browser and but these apps can be downloaded to your phone and you have Outlook on your phone you just have to put in you know the the uh, different types of groups or whatever that you have in that area now, see this one. Um, this one is just talking about some of the things that 
uh, the groups that I have in here as far as through my address book. But what I want to do is log out of this one again and come into my Questa account because there's some stuff I can show you there. Um, let's come back. Again, I'm going to go one more time and go to Portal. Okay, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Questa email. Now watch what happens. Again, that background, that background is going to change on us and it'll be the Questa because, again, I'm working with their servers now. I'm actually, it's the online servers, but it's the uh, Microsoft servers that I'm working with, but it's their, their, uh, um, their, their exchange format. So now I'm into my Questa, but what I wanted to show you is, this is where I've been keeping the data regarding your class. And so you come in and you go here, into my accounts, and I very seldom ever log into this account. I, I see it from my iPad at times, but I don't. Okay, here's your 154 class, and there, where do I have the, I thought I had them stored here, 215. Here's classes, it should be, okay. Huh. Well, there's my class information. I must have my folder somewhere else in Outlook because I don't see it here. This is 215. And it should have been under my. That's my 252 class. Hmm. Let me let me uh, pause this again, see where I can find it. Okay, I just opened Outlook and I want to see where those folders are because they're right. Let's see, that's, this should be in my Questa, under my inbox, under my okay, just went to that, okay, and uh, Questa, classes, uh, 252, 215, no, that's not where I'm going, where have I been going, it's 154, and this showing only one in there. So where have I been putting these? Goodness sakes, I just realized that I've been putting the stuff that I was going to show you, organizing it here in your my lab email account. So it would have been there in all of these folders. So let me go back to the lab email account and show you again. I just wanted to show you how they come up. So I'm going to log out of this one and go to my lab, back to my lab email account, same thing, and portal.office.com. And here it is. And now I just have to put in my password. Sign in. And this is what I want to show you, is that in Outlook, I've been maintaining these. And these are your completed assignments for each assignment. And I keep these in here, so when I get ready to correct them, I always uh, sort. I, I run a sort, and um, it's much easier for me to do it in Outlook, because I don't use this interface very often. And, and you'll see that. Um, well, let's go back to Outlook and look at the sort option there. Okay, so I'm in my inbox in Outlook. So now I, I see I have this option to sort. See, so you can see the differences in the two. I'm looking at the same account, and I have more options here that I can work with. And so that's what that's what I'm mo mainly interested in is showing you how this. How, how there's a difference in the two, but we're working from the software itself. However, the email is all coming in to this server that's online. And I can always pull information from that server. What's so wonderful about it is when I synchronize or like if I come in to my phone and I put in a, um, a date in my phone, it synchronizes with my phone and now I have my uh, um, information regarding that particular day or that calendar item. 
So this is what I was trying to bring across is that you always have this, if you're using Office 365, you always have this online interface that you can access. Now, your Questa email account is a nice little account, but it's basically a Gmail account. So that's the reason why you can't use that, which was is where you, you usually have first name, last name, uh, first name underscore last name at my.questa.edu. That one you can get to come into Outlook and it would be pretty much the same way as my Gmail account. But the problem with it is that again, some of the functions in Gmail, because they're IMAPed, um, they're not available in Outlook. So it's just, that's part of the problem. And so since this is not a, a, a Gmail account, and we want to make sure that it, and it's an IMAP account. We want to exchange a server. We actually got more out of the lab email accounts than we would if we had used your regular Questa email account because I wouldn't have uh, enough functionality there. So that gives you um, a little bit of an explanation. And I hope that uh, um, if you have any questions, that you'll please let me know. And I appreciate um, every comment that I've been getting. Uh, thank you very much.